Good morning, good day, good evening, good night, wherever you are, whatever time it is when you see this. I am just going to show you real quick uh, the update that dropped today, December 11th, 2023, to Planetary Live Stacking and Enhancement in SharpCap 4.1. Uh, the tool is stabilizing, so uh, the update is pretty small, but it's a pretty important couple of features. So I'm just going to, as before, go to cameras, test camera 2, high speed. You can do this at home if you have any recorded surf files. You can also test this using just the built-in default still image of Jupiter. I'll do a video on how to do that at some point. But I'm going to go to browse. It's my dog in the background. Uh, and I'm going to grab uh, one of these old recorded surf files. This is from a few weeks ago, actually one month ago today. So there's Jupiter as it appeared on November 11th, 2023. We'll go to Tools, Live Planetary Stacking and Enhancement. And I've already set this up for this video, so Jupiter's going to start stacking immediately. I've got my sharpening controls set. Uh, I've got my brightness and color adjustments and my saturation turned up. So you can see uh, Jupiter's looking pretty good. Let me turn on my display stretch. Yeah. Looks good, except for one thing. Jupiter's rolled over on his backside. And now, under stabilization and alignment, we have this fantastic rotate feature image. So I'm going to rotate this guy 90 degrees to the right. Ah, that's much better. I feel better. So the way that this works is if you have a non square region of interest, uh, what SharpCap is going to do is rotate a square subsection uh, that contains the planet's center of gravity. So um, there were some complications. If you had a, a rectangular ROI that was wider than it is tall, uh, messing with your display settings and breaking some things. So what Dr. Glover has implemented is it just rotates the largest square section that it can, which for planetary imaging should be entirely adequate. So that's that's uh, one feature that I had requested and has been implemented, and uh, I love it. It uh, fixes all of my recorded SIR files where I have a camera that's threaded directly to the ADC, so when I set the angle of the ADC, I have no control of the camera orientation, um, and that's now fixed beautifully. Love it. The other thing that has changed under the hood you won't really see directly but now the quality or the contrast calculation that's being calculated here um, comes from an image that is actually denoised under the hood, which means that this uh, quality calculation is more robust to noise in the image. So it has a smaller standard deviation. Uh, it's just a better quality metric because it's coming from a denoised image. And you won't see that directly, but it does result in better statistics. You, you might notice that as uh, a better histogram, for example, for setting your frame filtering. Um, and that's it. Those are the, uh, the only two changes in this release. And uh, thanks for watching.